All right, everybody. Uh, this will be a warning to all politicians I'm running for president 2024. Um, part 116, I believe. And uh, I'll show you that there. Warning. Also a warning for America. About the road you appear to be going down. Sorry for the darkness out there. And... Uh, BFE Arizona um, Hopefully when they count the votes here in Arizona finish counting them Trump will come out on top um, And make it a little little harder for them to steal the election away um, Seems to me they uh You know, waited to count the uh, a lot of the uh, mailed in or dropped off or um, well, probably just the mail in ones. Um, so they could like sort through them and pick the Biden ones. I don't know. I don't know why they some of these states have done it this way. I think that that should be something America looks into as a whole. I know it's the, the states can set up their own deals, but this being 2020, I think we need something more uniform, uh, some rules. Um, and as far as the one day vote in person thing, I've always thought with our population and everything um, that that's a little outdated itself. Maybe you could do a, a two day thing. You know, the first Monday and the Tuesday, something like that for in-person voting and, um, you know, give more people a chance to get there and vote in person. That way they don't, they're not worried about what's going on with the mail and everything else. Um, anyhow, a couple things. Um, disparaging things. For, for me, anyway, it should be for a lot of you. And that's why I'm saying a warning for America. Uh, on a proposition deal here in Arizona, uh, they voted to legalize recreational marijuana. It's no good for you, Arizona. No good for any of you states. Um, we have enough problems... Um, with alcohol, tobacco, gambling, pornography, um, social, that cause plenty of social problems. Now you're going to throw marijuana in there. Um, you know, people still need to pay for their drugs. Do you understand? Um... You're going to have a lot more crime. And in the future, you're going to have a lot more health problems. Lungs and, and uh, brain and, and psychological problems. Um, I can understand legalization for medical purposes. If, uh, you know, they go to a real doctor, you know, there's no reason why, you know, someone in their 60s or 70s who has cataracts or, uh, you know, being treated for cancer or leukemia or something, no matter what age they are, you know, can't use whatever is available and the doctor thinks will help them or they think will help them. Um, Oregon, not happy with just making marijuana legal. They've just made, uh, decriminalized all drugs. So, um, you can look for Plenty of people or cartels uh, shipping all kinds of shit. Well, Arizona can look forward to that too now. Um, with the border being right there, not everyone's going to go to the dispensary. You know, and your idea that, oh, you're going to tax it and make all this. Well, when, you, when you're done paying for extra law enforcement 
and everything else and the crime rates go up and then you start paying for all the medical problems. Oh, that's right. Biden's going to give you all free medical and Medicare and everything. That's right. Um, but anyway, uh, Interstate 5, going right through California and then, you know, could come up through Arizona and through Nevada and up, up to uh, Oregon. You just made Oregon the most favorite place in the country for drug dealers. Do you understand what you did up there in Oregon? Portland's not going to become like Amsterdam. Well, hell no. So you, you find people up there in Oregon, you're going to have more crap traffic through your state. States that border Oregon, uh, Idaho, Washington State. Um, you can also uh, look forward to lots of drug trafficking and cross-border uh, um, drug use going on. So... This is what I want to warn America about. You throw that stuff in there with all these people that are talking free this and they're going down this energy rabbit hole. Free this and that. You know, Biden, hey, he's, he's even going to give, you know, medical coverage to all the illegals. Hmm, do you think that'll draw more of them here? In the first place, I can't speak for every city, but I know from in around the Phoenix area, uh, if you go to the ER room, um, there's illegals in there getting free medical anyway, because they're not going to pay the bills. And they can't be refused at an ER room. Uh, a lot of the urgent cares and centers used to be that way too. You see a lot of them in there. Um, but I think somehow they straighten it out to where, you know, they, they tell them, you know, they don't have to see them there unless they're, you know, bleeding out or something. Uh, but they can't just go in there and get seen when they have the flu and all that kind of shit, I don't believe anymore. Uh, but the ER room, they do. When the flu is bad in Phoenix area and everything, go to any ER and it'll be wall to wall illegals mostly with their kids. Um... Or at least it used to be. I I got to, I haven't been doing ER in years there in Phoenix. Uh, knock on wood, won't have to go for a while anyway. But um, this whole idea that you know you you're gonna it's a right for everybody to have free medical and all this and well, first place it's not free. It's gonna come from taxes. So is all these subsidized jobs Joe Biden's talking about if he does win uh, which he's never explained where you know what no one's ever asked him either 10 million doing what making windmills making solar panels what are you talking about 10 million jobs you're gonna you're gonna create 10 million jobs in energy so um, I wanted to bring this up for people out there. I just, no matter what color you are, your religion, anything, no matter what. But primarily, I'm going to address those who, like myself, who are white, who have worked their asses off their whole lives, and who have been demonized the last several years with this phony baloney white privilege crap and everything else and all you, you pansy asses who run around apologizing for being white I want you to think about this and think about Congress and, and their duties and um, whether or not they have a right to do the things they have been doing all these years now I don't have to get my birth certificate out now to look at it because I've looked at it before and I know nowhere on my birth certificate does it say, hi, welcome to the world. Once you start working, you're responsible to give the fruits of your labor 
to your government so they can give it to other people. And it's not give. You, you, you're going to have the fruits of your labor taken from you to give to other people you don't even know. And while I don't have a copy of the Constitution, Constitution with me here, I also know it doesn't say anywhere in there, and the Founding Fathers would be dead set against what Congress has done with all these politicians. And it's Republican and Democrat. You have done this. And, doesn't, and, and the presidents have gone along with it. All this welfare and all this stuff. You have no right. Yes, the Constitution says you can impose tax. And for those of you who don't know, when it was just the Articles of Confederation, there was really no teeth in it. Congress went to the states, because according to the Articles of the Confederation, the states were supposed to pay Congress, so Congress, you understand this? There, there wasn't an individual federal tax on individuals. Each state taxed its people however they did it, came up with what they needed to give Congress to pay the army. And the other federal things uh, that they were given responsible for, ability for, which there were not very many in the Articles of Confederation. When they started having trouble with that and the states didn't pay them, they decided that's when they got together and they wanted to write a new constitution and uh, coax George Washington out of uh, his retirement and um, they got together and um, got the states to agree to uh, pay the federal government taxes to live up to their responsibilities. And it's been downhill since then. There, there wasn't a federal income tax on us all. Um, the federal government was not supposed to be meant big. You were supposed to have more say and more control within your state, within federal guidelines, um, with within the you know the, you 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 know you had to stay within the Constitution. You had to maintain you know the laws of you know the Bill of Rights and and all those things that were in the Constitution and all that. But your money stayed in your state. You had more control over. You know, it wasn't the Fed taking your money, it was the state taking your money and then paying the Fed a portion of that. Now it's the Fed takes everything and you pay a small portion to your state. But anyhow, and I, I want to make this clear here. I'm not a, you know, hateful person. I love my fellow human beings. You know, I hate to see anybody go without and stuff, but for them just to say, we're going to take a large portion of what you make and we're going to distribute it to these people through welfare and all this other stuff. I can understand somebody gets down, they need a little help. But there's nothing in our laws, there's nothing on our birth certificates that say you're responsible for these other people. Now, as a human being, I believe in being charitable. I believe if you, if you have the wherewithal, it's your duty as, as a human being, especially if you believe in God, to try to ease hunger and all these things and stuff like that. For people who, through no fault of their own, if it's a war zone or, or something, whatever, um, a natural disaster. We, we've always been a charitable country. We go around the world to, all over the place and help people. 
and I believe helping people within our own communities. But I don't believe in my pocket being picked by force by politicians who want to set up all these social programs to give to people who turn around and scream white privilege. Uh, you're, if you listen to Farrakhan and people like him and, and their followers, the enemy, to be called white motherfuckers, to be called racist all the time, all these things. And then to look at the riots, I'm not even calling them, it ain't, ain't even riots, man. It's just flat out looting, that's all it is. Just flat out stealing. You look at all that going on, you look at all this stuff, you, you, you get called, you know, all these names, get told you have white privilege, and all kinds of crap, you're supposed to have white guilt and everything, and the whole time you're working your ass off, and your taxes are going to these people who are doing and saying all these things. Does that seem fair? Honest to God, have you ever sat down and thought, there's nothing on my birth certificate or in the Constitution that I'm responsible to work my ass off to have the government take my money and give it to somebody else? They have no right to do that. Zero. Zilch. They can't justify it. I don't care what laws or what they did whenever they started all this crap. It's illegal as hell. It is illegal as hell for them to take your money. There's no way the founding fathers would put up to take your money and give it to people just, just because, oh, well, look at them over there. Uh, that aren't working. And especially, oh, they're having kids out of wedlock. So let's give them money for each kid that they have. Do you think George Washington, um, Jefferson, Adams, Franklin, any of them would agree to that? Abraham Lincoln wouldn't even agree to that. That you can take the money from a citizen of the United States of America that they have worked for. Take it from them by force and give it to somebody else. That is nowhere in the Constitution and it ain't no friggin' where on your birth certificate. And then to be turned around and to be called all these things... You're paying for these people to eat. You're paying for these people's children to have teachers and to go to school because they've destroyed any kind of economy in their own neighborhoods. The only way those teachers get paid is from federal dollars that go to states like California and other places. And they want to be out in the streets tearing shit up, denouncing America, wanting more stuff free, free medical, free college. And you got these morons like Joe Biden and others who, hey, we'll give you all that. It ain't coming out of his pocket. It's coming out of your pocket. No matter what color you are. And you might say, well, I don't mind. Well, that's your prerogative. I mind. Millions of Americans mind. The welfare system and all this crap, all the social programs have done nothing but make people dependent on the government. Nothing. It has not improved their lives at all. You think living in the projects and getting food stamps and shit and everything, that's improved somebody's life? 
What would improve their lives is to go out and get a job. You think it's improved their lives to have baby after baby and expect more money that's going to come not from the government, out of your and my pockets. That's where it comes from. So playa, when you walk away and say, oh, screw that hoe. And leave her there with a kid that you ain't going to take care of because you know she can get welfare. Or maybe she leaves you. Maybe she's one of those types. I don't need no man. I can get me some welfare. Now, I'm not saying there ain't no white people out there on welfare. I know there's plenty of white people on welfare. Whether they're in the Appalachians or in the cities or, or wherever they're at. There's plenty of them doing this shit too. So they have no right to my fucking money either. Or your money. No right to your money. And then turn around and condemn, condemn the white race, condemn the country, um, you know, or, you know, just be a white punk on dope up there, uh, joining Antifa <coughs> and putting your hand out next you're going to want free drugs up there, Oregon. You understand that? You people are taking this country into the freaking sewer. Into the friggin' sewer. Oh, well, we got too many problems putting people in jail for drugs. Let's make the drugs legal. Really? Have you thought that through? Have you really friggin' thought that through? So we get our pockets picked to pay for people who don't contribute anything, who have baby after baby. We get to pay for all the convicts in prison so they have three squares. God forbid that, you know, their, their calorie count ain't right. And free medical for them. And then, uh, you know, Biden, once, you know, he, he's going to keep Obamacare and expand on it and all this. He, he says, oh, it's going to be different. Bullshit. Your premiums are going to go back up so that the person who doesn't keep a job, who does their drugs and everything else, when they get sick and they go to the doctor, they can get medical care. Courtesy you. Now, I've got no problem if somebody's disabled, born physically handicapped, people like that, no problem. We need to help people like that. But people who are in and out of jail, making babies they're not going to take care of, not holding down jobs, doing their drugs, running the streets, what the hell, who, who the hell said you could take our money to give it to people like that? And here's the thing I want to point out to you. The more decayed, and with Biden, if he wins, and his ties to China, and, and the deals they'll do to get jobs out of here, and everything else, um, I'm telling you now, America, you know that movie Red Dawn? I'm telling you now, if we don't turn this thing around, and we keep becoming more decrepit as a society, more immoral as a society, more socialistic, uh, 
as a society, letting these politicians become tyrants and rob us at will and do whatever the hell they want to do. I'm t I'm, it's probably going to be sooner, but I'm telling you, within three decades, you're going to have Chinese soldiers coming ashore on the west coast of the United States of America. I'm telling you now. And they'll probably be helped by all these yahoos on the west coast, and they'll probably be helped by Mexico. A lot of these people have no love for this country. They've been taught and taught and taught. America is the reason for their ills. You know, and people in this country, oh, we gotta, we gotta help all these people when they come in. We gotta give them everything. Really? Why don't you go down to Mexico and kick the president of Mexico and all their politicians in the ass and say, hey, take care of your friggin' people. Where is it on my birth certificate, on any American's birth certificate, that says you were responsible to work your ass off and take care of Mexican nationals? Because that's what they are. Even though they are on our land, they are Mexican nationals. They are the responsibility of the government of the nation of Mexico. Mexico. Is that better for you? It's not enough you rob us to take care of all the people in this country who can't get their shit together. But now you're going to rob us to take care of people who aren't even from this country. Where do you get off? You do not have that authority, Congress. You do not have that authority, Joe Biden. The Constitution does not say any of us are responsible to take care of foreign nationals. So fuck you, Joe Biden. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, you scumbag. Promise everything under the sun so you can get fucking elected. Screw the country, screw the future of the children of this country just so Joe Biden can get elected and appease a bunch of people who would shit all over this country given the first chance they got. I'm telling you, America, if you don't start educating people in this country to take care of themselves, and to think and to question these assholes about all this crap instead of following slogans. There are, it is pitiful how many uneducated people there are in this country. And it's on both sides. But especially on the left. Who don't look into anything. Somebody on the street tells them something, they're saying, you know, hey, that motherfucker's racist, or this or that, and that's all they need. They don't need, they don't look at policy. They don't look at anything. Oh, so-and-so on, on Saturday Night Live said this, or, or, you know, Jimmy Fallon, or this person, or that. Yeah. Yeah, we got to be against those assholes. We got to be against that asshole president. And you have not, you don't have a fucking clue about economics or how the world works or anything about this country. Nothing. Just everybody's a racist. All them white motherfuckers are racist. They ain't oppressing you. The cops is out to kill you. Trump only cares about rich people. You dumb motherfuckers. You ever heard of the Great Depression? Have you ever heard of the Great Depression? You think Wall Street does not matter for, for what's going to go on in your life? Especially now, you all got 401ks. And you know what? Who's at the top of the list responsible for all this shit? The news media. The news media. 
for allowing people to flap their gums on TV and you don't ask them squat. You don't press them at all about details about anything. And all the Congress people on both sides who have who've put all these programs into place that now, good luck getting rid of them. But I'm telling you this, you know, Bernie Sanders jumped up and said day one, the first thing he'd do is legalize marijuana across the country. I'm telling you this, day one, 2024, if I make it to office, the first thing I'm doing is abolishing all welfare. Except for the truly needy, you know, physically handicapped type situations. It's going bye-bye. You have no right to take the money from hardworking Americans and give it to other people at the drop of the hat and, uh, you know, just because you're pandering for votes and you want to pat yourselves on the backs and think you're doing something good. You ain't doing good for anybody. You are not doing good for anybody. If a state wants to have welfare, then they can tax the people of their state. If there's people of their state want it, let them pay it. There are certain things you are given the right to in the Constitution, Congress. You do not have the right to pick our pockets any damn time you please. For any damn stupid idea you come up with. Like free medical for everybody. Even people who aren't citizens of this country. I'm sorry for my language there for some of you and for yelling. But just really, this shit's gotten to me now. Watching what's going on. And uh, just uh, looking at the future of the country. I'm telling you, you will see Chinese soldiers on the West Coast within 30 years. Wish you all the best out there. God bless.